I've recently been asked to do a profile of this beautiful succulent. When I do plant profiles, I usually include the propagation info, but I cannot do that with this one. The name is Echeveria hercules and it's one of the PBR plants, which in simple terms mean it's patented. And so the purpose of this video is to define what PBR is, what it means for growers like me and gardeners along with succulent enthusiasts. We'll also have a look at how you can try and find out if you have a PBR succulent. PBR is an abbreviation of plant breeders rights. PVR or plant variety rights is also used. It's a type of intellectual property awarded to the breeder of a new variety. This gives the PBR owner exclusive rights over a plant's propagation and harvesting for a set amount of years. PBR can be awarded for a new variation of plant, flower, fruit or a tree. It can last for up to 20 to 25 years based on the plant. The owner of a PBR plant controls production and earns royalties if the right to sell is awarded to someone else. The PBR owner can choose to be the exclusive seller or can license the variety to others. If a PBR plant is propagated and sold without a license, legal proceedings can be started and damages sought. Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. Legally, you cannot save seed or propagate PBR plants even if you just use it for yourself. At this point, I think all of us have unknowingly broken the law. To be entirely honest, I'm not even sure how PBR would be enforceable against a private person, especially when it comes to plants like succulents. Succulents can pretty much propagate themselves and quite a few of the PBR varieties multiply without any input from us. Many of us don't even know we have a succulent that has been patented. Although PBR succulents should be labelled, even large nurseries don't sometimes disclose what they're selling. Often, they are also unaware that the plant in their possession are PBR. And then there's backyard sellers who also don't have any idea. Many are completely oblivious to the whole PBR thing. In my opinion, it's just a bit of a cock-up. Plants are made to self-propagate. Also, the labeling and awareness are lacking. I kind of get why you'd want to patent a beautiful plant you've worked hard to create, but on the other hand, I don't think patenting living, breathing things should be allowed. The argument of PBRs is that it's an incentive for growers to create new, different plant varieties. One could also say that without patents for plants, there would not be as many varieties for us to choose from. My personal view is that plants, especially food crops, are a public resource. To create new varieties, plants that occur in nature have been initially used. To me, PBR seems like big greed, but that is just my feeling. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I am missing something. If the succulent has a label, check if you can see PBR or PVR written anywhere. If you want to check a plant in your collection and know its name, you can just type it into Google, search and add PBR or patent after the name. Each country will have its own database. But there doesn't seem to be an international website where you can search patented plants that have been registered in different countries. And this is another massive failing of the PBR plants. It's not that easy to check. In the case of Echeveria hercules, which has been patented in Europe with a worldwide effect, I as a grower in Australia would have no way of knowing this. I bought Hercules years ago from another nursery and there was absolutely no indication that this was a patented plant. And many other nurseries propagate and sell their own Hercules here. Personally, if I'm made aware of a succulent that is patented, I avoid it altogether. There's little chance a tiny grower like me would ever get into trouble though, especially when the world of PBR plants can be as clear as mud. If you find out you have a PBR plant, I wouldn't worry too much, even if you propagated it. But it's just good to be aware. And that's that. I hope this video was educational and if you have anything to add or would like to ask a question, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. 
Thank you very much for watching.